It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Tuesday, the 20th of August. I'm Michael Groff. Another hot and dry day here in the Valley. Temperatures pretty close to record territory, but then by the time we get toward tonight and tomorrow, the moisture comes back in. Showers and thunderstorms return to the forecast. And yes, there could be a few strong storms tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. And that could linger into Thursday, but then substantially drier air comes on in here. The rain chances will be out of our forecast. Temperatures will still be pretty close to seasonal averages, but those overnight lows are going to drop off quite a bit for the weekend. And then we'll see a gradual warm up as we head into next week. And is that going to be it for monsoon activity for a while for the rest of the season? Who knows? We'll talk about that and everything else in just a moment as we dive on in and discuss. All right. First, here's that almanac from yesterday. 112 degrees, the afternoon high. That's the 50th time this year we've had a high at or above 110 degrees, five away from tying the all-time record. 88 was the morning low. This morning, we dropped to 92 degrees at Sky Harbor. Should that hold through midnight, that will set a new all-time record for days with a low temperature at or above 90 degrees. 36 days now this year, we've had a low at or above 90. Should that hold through midnight, so... There you go. Heat records fallen by the wayside. 105 and 84 the averages for this time of year outside now at 1145 a.m. Partly cloudy. 102 degrees at Sky Harbor. 58 the dew point. Relative humidity 23 percent. A light wind. The barometer falling. And to follow up on our trivia question from yesterday, we asked you, what is the fewest number of days ever in Phoenix with a low temperature at or above 80 degrees? Think about that. Fewest number of days where we've had a low at or above 80. On average, at least based on the last 30 years, the average is 74 days. We're at 75 so far this year. But the fewest days ever in a year, we had a number of guesses. Uh, Someone said 7, another person said 15, someone said 21. Believe it or not, it is just three days. Three days in a calendar year back in 1912 where we had a low at or above 80 must have been a beautiful summer actually those uh, early 1910s had some uh, rather cool summers here in phoenix relatively speaking um as there was a kind of a a cooler time here across the globe in the early 1910s of course long before the urban sprawl and all that here in phoenix before things really started to warm up All right, the upper-level weather pattern across the nation right now. High pressure sits off to the east of us. We're on the western periphery of that. There's an inverted trough that's beginning to move into northern Mexico. That will help be a focal point for storms tomorrow. We've got a trough developing off the Pacific northwest coast as well. That's going to add some extra dynamic support, and ultimately that will become a dominant feature for us as we head later into the week and toward this weekend. That'll be what scours out our moisture ultimately by about uh, Friday. All right, the watch warning map, still heat over the southern plain states, Texas, Oklahoma. Yes, it's hot with those heat indices valued uh, above 105 degrees. Uh, For us here in uh, Maricopa County, the Phoenix area, there's an excessive heat warning. That's through 8 p.m. this evening. Convective outlook for today, risk of severe storms well up to the north of us across parts of Montana and uh, over portions of Colorado, Arizona, good portion of the state is in the green on the convective outlook, but realistically, the risk of storms, at least for this afternoon, will be confined mainly to the higher terrain of far eastern and southeast Arizona. But this, keep in mind, this outlook runs through 5 a.m. tomorrow, and we do expect to see some storms developing in the overnight hours and the pre-dawn hours tomorrow morning over southern Arizona. So we'll have to watch that very carefully. Here's the rainfall outlook. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, generally a quarter of an inch or less. Slightly more, of course, over the higher terrain, eastern Arizona, southeastern parts of the state. And of course, your amount will vary, as is always the case during any monsoon storms. This just represents an average of what we can expect over the region. So let's get into the details of this forecast right now, the nuts and bolts of it all. To do that, we explore the models, see what the future may hold. Here we go. This is the GFS. It's the 12Z run, and it's valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Troughing along the Pacific Northwest Coast, a ridge over the Southern Plains states, another trough for the East Coast. What it all means for us down at the surface for the rest of the day today, mostly sunny to partly cloudy, 
and hot. Highs 109 to 113. And if we hit 113, we will tie a record high for the date. Tonight, partly cloudy. We'll see some widely scattered showers and thunderstorms developing overnight across southeast Arizona and with the flow aloft turning more out of the southeast. Those will be pushed toward the lower desert. So it is possible that we could see a late night or early morning storm or two creeping into the southern deserts, including Phoenix. Maybe those early morning rumbles of thunder. Two, three, four, five o'clock tomorrow morning. Certainly our high resolution guidance seems to suggest that is a possibility. So we will watch for that. Uh, but we don't have that in our forecast, at least for the overnight hours. Tomorrow we've put rain chances in. Uh, but mainly toward the afternoon. So let's talk about that, okay? This is uh, uh, with overnight lows tonight, generally in the 80s to near 90 degrees. Tomorrow, let's do it here. We'll see quite a bit of cloud cover in the morning, it sure looks like. And this is going to be a tricky forecast because the ingredients do come together for a fairly active day. All right, we've got ridging sitting off to the east of us, stronger southerly to southeasterly flow in the mid-levels, moisture is on the increase, We've got this trough that's sitting along the Pacific Northwest coast, adding a little bit of extra dynamic support as it's starting to influence our weather as well. So you've got stronger shear coming in aloft. You've got slightly cooler air aloft, decent lapse rates. So air is cooling a little bit faster as it goes up through the atmospheric column. Got some instability here. You've got all the ingredients, but one thing, the thermodynamics may or may not be there. It depends on the cloud cover we have tomorrow morning. If clouds are around and kind of linger through the morning hours, that will make for slightly less unstable conditions. But I still think we have a decent chance of showers and storms, not only uh, maybe a few in the morning, but better chances of storms tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening firing up over eastern and southeast Arizona being pushed toward the lower deserts, including Phoenix. And a few of those storms, given the instability and the shear values and everything, it looks like they could be strong or even severe with some damaging straight line winds being the primary threat for many storms that happen tomorrow afternoon. Uh, not, a, not a huge risk, but certainly a threat from storms tomorrow. And of course, with strong winds, we have the uh, ever-present possibility of blowing dust here. That's something we'll have to watch for tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night as well. But given the moisture profiles coming up too, brief heavy rain could also be a threat from the strongest storms. We keep that in mind. And high temperatures tomorrow will be much lower due to the increase in clouds, humidity, and those rain chances. So highs tomorrow generally about 100 to 105. All right, we've bumped the rain chance up into the 30% bracket tomorrow, 40 to 50% for tomorrow night. And then even on Thursday... Still, the dynamics are around for showers and thunderstorms here, at least scattered showers and storms. But as we go through the day, this trough off the Pacific Northwest coast is going to continue to deepen. And the flow aloft will slowly begin to switch out of the southwest. And that's going to gradually start to push some drier air deeper into Arizona. But I think at least a decent portion of the day will still have a chance of storms in here. High temperatures still around 100 to 105. But certainly by the time we get toward Friday, that trough is unusually strong as it sits there over uh, the Pacific Northwest and deepens into Oregon and Northern California. There's actually a pretty decent chance they could see some rain, uh, some showers, some, a few thunderstorms up there and much cooler temperatures. Uh, high temperatures sh should be well below average, anywhere from 15 to 25 degrees below normal up there. Now, for us, we're on the southeastern periphery of this, and, and the flow aloft here is going to be out of the southwest. That's going to take the moisture and push it on out of here. Any chance of storms on Friday may be right along the eastern border of our state, but more, mostly over Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, uh, and, of course, obviously well to the north and west of us. So we should be dry. High temperatures will top out, again, around 100 to 106 degrees here in the lower deserts. But what you're really going to notice is those dew points are going to come down. The humidity levels are going to come down. And by Friday night, Saturday morning, we should see lows getting down in the 70s in many parts of the of the valley here. Now, obviously, in the urban core, probably still well in the 80s. But uh, 70s away from the from downtown Phoenix and the and the center of the urban core, certainly the outlying valley areas and the open deserts down in the 70s. That'll feel pretty nice. And then Saturday, sunny, dry air, high temperatures still around 102 to 106 we'll warm it up maybe a degree or two on sunday but again we stay dry i mean hardly a thunderstorm to be found across the entire area 
maybe northwest Mexico, but even at that, the moisture is getting pretty well scoured on out of here. But last couple of runs of the GFS have done something interesting here. And by Monday, they start to build the ridge back in from the, from the east, from the southern plains back toward the southwest. And if that happens, we'd see moisture coming back a little faster than what was initially thought here. In fact, as, as some of our guidance yesterday, we didn't think we'd see any moisture at all next week. And now it sure looks like at least a few showers and storms would be possible over the higher terrain on Monday. Uh, not really too excited about this solution just yet. I'd have to see a few more runs before I buy into it, but yeah, it looks like that is a possibility, but for us, we'd still be dry. High temperatures, uh, still around 104 to 108, and we'll keep with that as we go to a week from today. This is Tuesday, the 27th. We still look to be fairly dry here, but again, the GFS says, hey, moisture is still going to keep increasing for at least some widely scattered to maybe even scattered showers and storms over the higher terrain and a few storms making it back to the lower deserts as early as next Tuesday. I'm not so sure about that just yet. But what do we do here? We watch those model trends to see what happens. Because the GFS is sure buying into that. And then going out 10 days, this is Thursday the 29th. And in this setup, we've got a 588 ridge that's sitting across northern Arizona and southern Utah. And the flow loft would be easterly in that setup for at least a small chance of showers and storms in the afternoon and evening hours, at least a low-grade monsoon. And a 588 ridge, certainly way better than a 597 or 600 decameter ridge, so it would not be nearly as hot. In fact, temperatures would be pretty close to, if not just a shade, above seasonal averages if this is right. So low-grade monsoon conditions would be with us and temperatures would not be all that bad in that configuration. All right, let's go to rainfall for Phoenix off the GFS Ensemble after the 3rd of September. The mean, about a half an inch. European Ensemble, under a quarter of an inch. Same deal. Um, you know, the big difference between the two models. It's been there for a while. And then temperatures off the national blend of models... Well, you don't see any 116s or 117s here. We probably are done with that extreme level of heat. We could get creeping back toward 110 way out there toward the end of the period. But I think even our 110 degree days are relatively numbered. Are we, are we going to get five more before the season is over to break the record? Well, I would say that's still a possibility. Let me know what you think down in the comments. But... You know, look, we're only at August the 20th. Uh, today we'll hit, we'll be above 110, so that'll be 51 on the season. I think we'll probably eke out another couple here before the end of the month and at least a couple more in September. So I think that record is still very much in jeopardy. We'll see. All right, that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. If you really like what we do here, then click that thanks icon below the video here on YouTube. Make those monetary contributions. And of course, you can donate to us via PayPal directly uh, there. So do that. If you feel so inclined, groffshow at gmail.com is the PayPal address. It's G-R-O-F-F show at gmail.com for PayPal. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. Talking about my Michelle, check her out, check out her videos and everything Michelle related linked up down in the description. And I encourage you, I implore you, I plead with you, I say, by God, you got to do this. Check out our streaming station, available 24-7, 365. It's called KMGX. What do we do there? We play a ton of music and have a lot of fun with that, so give that a listen as well. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support, it is so greatly appreciated. Could not do these videos without you. Please do be safe out there. Stay cool. Stay hydrated. Have yourselves. I mean, man, I need, I need to be hydrated. It is, it is hot in this studio. All right, and you guys have yourselves a beautiful rest of your Tuesday. My goodness.
It's so hot in here. Seriously, I'm, I'm spritzing. Flash flood of sweating. 